So this video is going to focus on the Atomic Learning LTI. Atomic Learning is a website that is full of different tutorials about technology, um, and a lot of them are geared towards students, but they've become even more robust, and they offer training materials for teachers on things like blending your classroom or flipping things. Um, you can find training information on software that you'd like or tools that you'd like to use with students, such as Kahoot, um, just a, a plethora of different um, opportunities. Um, but one of the great things with this external tool is that you can set up training uh, modules for students based on content that you need them to have. So the way this works is you go down to submission type and you select external tool. As always though, with external tools, because it's going to take up this entire set of the screen, I may want to type directions or um, do a video of the expectations or just let them know what the content is all about before I press submit. Because again, you may give the directions in class, but you have absent kids, you have kids who don't always focus perfectly the first time, and giving those directions multiple times can, can save you time in the long run. So I would, I've put my expectations, I would set up what this whole system or what this whole um, external tool is for, and then I would go ahead and look for my external tool. So I'm going to click Find, select Atomic Learning, it's right at the top. And Atomic Learning has a lot of different content available. Um, the, I think the best thing to do is just to search according to keywords. So you need to think about what kind of training materials you would use this for. For example, let's say I would like the students to do something creative. Instead of just writing a paper, I want them to create a movie. Um, maybe it's a historical event that I'd like them to reenact and put their own personal interpretation or take a historical event and put it in today's settings. Create a video and, and uh, upload that to Canvas. I'm not necessarily going to be knowledgeable on all of the tools and steps necessary to create that video. And that's where um, embedding things like these tutorials can really help out. So one of the things you may want kids to be able to do for that project is to learn how to create movies via Windows Movie Maker. Again, you don't have to be the authority. You can give that autonomy to kids to be authority on their own. So I'm going to scroll down and select Windows Live Movie Maker and click plus content. That just gives you a description. And from here, I can pick and choose what kind of content is going to be available to them. Now, if this is something that I'm, a project that I'm giving over to the kids and um, I don't know a whole lot about it, I'm probably just going to have everything selected. Now, granted, there is a lot of content here. Most of the clips are fairly short, um, and to be honest, these kids, they're going to learn how to do things on their own um, as they pick and poke around at the program. But if they do come across a stumbling block and they're not sure about something, you want them to have those, those resources to look at or to, uh, to go to rather than relying on you for that information. Because that's a, a lot of what technology is all about. It's just an opportunity to learn beyond your own skills or capabilities. So I'm going to give them access to all of these tutorials. I'm going to click Submit. And then I want to continue. This title is perfectly fine for me. And when I do that, it basically embeds it into that content page. And all I need to do is click Select. So now, it's actually there. You can't see anything. Um, as long as we've done all of our directions and we have a title, we can go down and click Save. And you can click Leave. The changes are saved. You're good. And then you'll notice that that content page has my directions at the top. It has the title. And then it actually has the embedded LTI for Atomic Learning. So as a student, they're going to scroll through, look for what they need. They're going to click on an item, and a tutorial window will pop up. Music to my project. And they have the video um, with access to it. 
Atomic Learning also has all of the subtitles embedded. So again, this is a really, really great resource if you have not used this. If you're wanting to expand the types of learning opportunities that you're providing kids, but you're a little hesitant because you're unsure how to use some of the technology yourself, there are always, always going to be resources available for those kids. Sometimes you just have to find them and then give them access. And that's really, when we're talking about blended learning and creating that environment, the, the, the most important word in that is opportunities. We're, we're trying to provide more opportunities for kids to engage in their learning um, that meets their needs. And it allows us to then focus on um, interacting with small groups or individuals to provide that um, more directed, more um, detailed instruction.